God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Pange lingua gloriosi, corporis mysterium, sanguinisque pretiosi, quem in mundi pretium, fructus ventris generosi, rex effudit gentium. Nobis datus, nobis datus, abs in tocta virgine, et in mundo conversatus, Sparso verbis emine, sui moras incolatus, miro plausit ordine. In supreme notte cene, recompens cum fratribus, observata lege plene, Cibis in legalibus, cibum turbe duodene, sedat suis manibus. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun, be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there. But the humble shall own the land and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God, and, and he, he will, will do, do everything, everything for you. you. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn. His bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth, for the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord. They are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying, but the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. 
Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord holds him by the hand. I was young, and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice, and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever, and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil, and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just, and seeks occasion to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land, and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon. I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright, for the peaceful man a future lies in store. But sinners shall all be destroyed, no future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead, then, then follow, follow in, in his, his way. way. Teach me goodness and holy wisdom, for I have put my trust in your guidance. From the book of the prophet Amos. This is what the Lord God showed me. He was forming a locust swarm when the late growth began to come up, the late growth after the king's mowing. While they were eating all the grass in the land, I said, Forgive, O Lord God, how can Jacob stand? He is so small. And the Lord repented of this. It shall not be, said the Lord God. Then the Lord God showed me this. He called for a judgment by fire. It had devoured the great abyss and was consuming the land when I said, Cease, O Lord God. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord repented of this. This also shall not be, said the Lord God. Then the Lord God showed me this. He was standing by a wall, plummet in hand. The Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? And when I answered, A plummet, the Lord said, See, I will lay the plummet in the midst of my people Israel. I will forgive them no longer. The high places of Isaac shall be laid waste, and the sanctuaries of Israel made desolate. I will attack the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words, for this is what Amos says. 
Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, Prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The Lord does nothing without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophets. The Lord has spoken. Who will not prophesy? The Lord took me as I was following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people. The Lord has spoken. Who will not prophesy? From the writings of St. Peter Julian Neymar, priest. The Eucharist is the life of all nations. It affords the very principle of life. If there is no impediment, whether due to one's nation or one's language, all can come to the feasts of the Church. The Eucharist brings to them the law of charity, and this sacrament is its source. For this very reason, it forms among them a common bond, that of Christian relationship. All eat of the same bread. All are Jesus Christ's guests and he supernaturally forms among them a certain harmony of brotherly customs. The Acts of the Apostles affirm that the primitive throng of Christians, both of converted Jews and baptized pagans, formed a single heart and soul, even though coming from different regions. Why? Because they were assiduous in listening to the doctrine of the Apostles and persevering in the breaking of the bread. The Eucharist is therefore the life of the soul, as well as the life of human society, just as the sun is the life of the body, as well as that of the earth. Without it, the earth is sterile. The sun gladdens, adorns, and fills it with good things. It gives effectiveness, strength, and beauty to the body. Before the marvels of the world, we ought not to do as the pagans do, which is to worship the sun as if it were a god of the world. The day star itself obeys the uppermost star, the divine word, Jesus Christ. He illuminates all those who come to this world and acts himself through the Eucharist, sacrament of life, in their innermost being, and by that he forms families and nations. Happy is the soul that finds this hidden treasure and that drinks from the source of life by often eating the bread of life. Furthermore, the Christian community is a family. The bond that unites them is Jesus in the Eucharist. He is the Father who prepares the family table. Christian brotherhood was promulgated at the Last Supper together with Jesus Christ's fatherhood. He himself calls his apostles filiolos, that is, little children, and commanded them to love one another as he loved them. At the holy table, all are children taking the same food. St. Paul concluded that all make up the same family, one body, for all share the same bread, Jesus Christ. Therefore, the Eucharist imparts on the Christian community the power to preserve the law of honor and love of neighbor. Jesus Christ orders us to honor and love his brethren, that is why he put himself in their place. Whenever you did this to one of the least of my brethren, you did it to me. And he gave himself to each one. 
by means of Holy Communion. Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. This is the bread which came down from heaven. The Lord has nourished us with wheat flour. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Let us pray. O God, who adorned St. Peter Julian Neymar with a wonderful love for the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Son, graciously grant that we too may be worthy to receive the delights he drew from this divine banquet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. <laughs> 